Check out trainertests.com for next generation VCP prep exams that include this and many other videos. In this video, we'll take a look at vSphere Update Manager and we'll talk about how it can be used to perform patches and upgrades of vSphere components. It's an automated patch and version management tool specifically for vSphere components like ESXi hosts, virtual machines, and virtual appliances. Update Manager needs to be registered with a vCenter server and it must be installed on a Windows machine. Now it could be on the same virtual machine as vCenter if you want to do so. Update Manager also helps mitigate risks by reducing vulnerabilities and providing bug fixes. Now let's take a look at Update Manager in action. So here we see a vCenter server appliance on our screen. And we've created a Windows Virtual Machine with Update Manager. Or if I wanted to, I could just put them on the same Windows Virtual Machine. That'll work as well. But Update Manager needs to be on a Windows machine. So if you're using the vCenter server appliance, you're going to have a separate virtual machine for Update Manager. And here we have our vCenter inventory, ESXi hosts, clusters, virtual machines. So out of the box, Update Manager will come with some built-in download sources. These are sources out on the internet where it can download updates, patches, bug fixes, things like that. And so we can set uh, a schedule in Update Manager where it will actually automatically reach out to these download sources on a predefined schedule. And as it finds new patches, it can add them to a baseline. So one of the baselines that's automatically built into Update Manager is called Critical Host Updates. And so if any new critical host updates are released, Update Manager grabs them from a download source and adds them to that dynamic baseline. This is a dynamic baseline that automatically includes any new critical host updates. We can then attach a baseline to objects in our inventory like ESXi hosts and scan those hosts against that baseline. So what we've just done is scanned an ESXi host cluster against the critical host updates baseline. And what that scan operation will do is it'll say, hey, here's the patches that are in this critical host updates baseline. Here's the patches that are already installed on the ESXi cluster, and it'll figure out which ones you need. And once it determines which, which patches are actually required, you can go about remediating those hosts and installing those patches. We'll talk about the remediation process in just a moment. Before we get to that, let's talk about the different types of baselines that exist in Update Manager. We've got upgrade baselines. If you want to update VMware tools, if you want to upgrade the virtual hardware of your virtual machines, if you want to upgrade hosts to a new version of ESXi, you can perform all of these upgrades using Update Manager. Now you can't upgrade vCenter. That's one upgrade that cannot be performed with Update Manager. You can also enable dynamic and fixed patch baselines. In a dynamic baseline, like critical host updates, new patches are automatically added based on the criteria of that baseline. If you want to create a fixed baseline, that's static. It's never going to automatically change. And you can even use an extension baseline to add some new software, like, for example, a third-party driver that needs to be installed on an ESXi host. All right, so let's look at how remediation is done. And we'll look at it in combination with uh, vSphere's Distributed Resource Scheduler, or DRS. Now, before we dig into this, I just want to mention, if these concepts are new to you, if you're prepping for your VCP exam, the, a great way to get ready for that exam is to drill these concepts over and over again. And there's some great practice exams at www.trainertests.com. You'll see a little bit more on that at the end of this course. So I highly recommend those exams if you're prepping for the VCP. 
Okay, so let's take a look at the remediation process now. So I have some baseline, the critical host updates baseline, let's say, that I've attached to a couple of ESXi hosts. And I've now scanned those hosts, and both of these hosts are missing some patches. So my scan results will come back and show that these hosts are not compliant with the baseline. Now I need to remediate. I can schedule this remediation to occur at a later time if I want to do so. But let's say it's the middle of the day and we want to remediate. Well, if that's the case, if we have DRS enabled on our cluster of ESXi hosts, Update Manager will work cooperatively with DRS. And what it'll do is it'll say, hey, ESXi 02 needs to enter maintenance mode, right? There's some patch that's being remediated and that host needs to reboot. But prior to putting it in maintenance mode, DRS will relocate those virtual machines to another host. And then Update Manager can go about its business. It can finish patching ESXi02 because now all the virtual machines have been safely evacuated by DRS and there's no downtime. And when it finishes ESXi02, Update Manager will bring it back online. That host will exit maintenance mode automatically and then Update Manager will simply move on to the next host. And the next host will follow the same process. All the VMs will be evacuated by DRS. It'll enter maintenance mode. And the patches can be applied safely without impacting any virtual machines. To learn more about these concepts and to prepare for your VCP exam, go to www.trainertests.com. These practice exams include this and many other embedded videos. And you can try a free demo. There's a 100% money back guarantee. And it has over 170 questions. And as you answer those questions at the end of the exam, it'll tie them all to the exam blueprint and show you which areas you need to work on. So there's really no better way to prepare for the VCP6 exam than to go to www.trainertests.com and try one of our practice exams.